Hi there, good afternoon. You're tuned into ET9. This is Market Fatafat with me, Cheryl D'Souza. Along with me, I have Srishti Sharma. Very good afternoon to you, Srishti. And indeed, it's a brighter and a better afternoon than what it was yesterday, at least. If you look at the markets today, you have the benchmarks along with the broader markets now at the day's highest point, or at least near the day's highest point. As you can see it on your screen, half a percent up to coming in for Sensex, seven tenths of percent up to coming in for Nifty Small Cap Index. Remember, that was the spoil spot in yesterday's trading session. Today, the small cap index has clawed back and is trading higher by about 3.5% or so. Uh, Mid cap index trading higher by 1.7%. Remember, in yesterday's trading session, the picture was totally opposite, uh, Shristi. You weren't there, so I'm no, sure no, you I had all no, the updates. It was all around, yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. The small cap index trading higher by about 3%, 3.3%. Apart from that, take a look at the sectoral indices and if you look at the picture there, it's a sea of green coming in for all the sectoral indices. Everything is in the positive territory with the media index trading higher by about 2.7% as we can see it on the screen. You also have a metal index that's trading higher by 1.8%. So you have metal also uh, seeing a good strength. PSU Bank Index yesterday, that one also saw heavy losses but today PSU Bank Index trading higher by about 1.3%, IT trading higher by about 1% or so. So yes, uh, sea of green coming in, a lot of stock specific action and all those stocks today at least are reacting to their news flow Shristi. Well yes, a lot of stocks that we're going to be telling our viewers in the next one hour Cheryl. So let's get started in the, this edition of Market Parapar and with this let me welcome our researcher, a team of researchers actually as well as our technical expert for the day. On the technical side we are being joined by Osho Krishnan and also uh, I beg your pardon, on the technical front Ashish Kyal is joining us. Very good afternoon, Ashish. And on the research side, good afternoon to Snehi as well as Ashesha. So let's get started with all the stocks that are in focus. And let me take the first stock. And we're going to be highlighting trend for our viewers because what a move we are seeing, Cheryl, in, um, in a stock like trend today. Because in the whole fall that we are seeing in the markets, trend did not participate at all. A uh, sharp uh, sell off from the highest point for this particular year, but still you can see the stock is holding above those levels of 4,000, 3.5% uptick in today's training session and the reason is Novama's report because what Novama is highlighting that in the past uh, past so many years we have seen a re-rating for trend on the back of the their retail chains as Westside as well as Zudio but they believe that the next re-rating trigger could be the Star Bazaar which is another store of trend and they're very positive on this front firstly the quality cannot be a compromise because it's a Tara brand and the other thing that they're highlighting is the pricing given the expansion and the pricing uh, Nubama believes that this could actually get a lot of traction for a stock like trend and they have maintained their buy rating on this particular stock and they are positive on trend uh, more than 4,000 of targets is what they're highlighting on a stock like trend and the stock is clearly seeing a cheer 4304 is the target coming in from Novama. All right, that's the target coming in from Novama for uh, Trent. But Ashish, what's your target for Trent? Are you also expecting a bright, uh, positive up move uh, for Trent, or are, are the charts indicating something altogether different? Hi, if you look at uh, the charts of Trent, it has uh, shown one of a very strong outperformance yesterday when we saw severe sell off across the board. Trend did not do much uh, on the downside and today as soon as market stabilized it is now recovering back and uh, showing a very good strength. So the overall momentum is still intact in the stock and it is actually going to give a very strong positive breakout. We expect the target of around 4500 for this stock and on the downside one can maintain a stop loss of around 3890 levels. All right, so that is the take coming in on trends but let's talk about Dynamatics and this particular counter if you've seen for the last uh, few months has been actually in focus on back of various global orders that it has been receiving. Uh, today, the stock has actually snapped uh, to uh, a three-day losing streak. It's trading higher by about 4% or so. Earlier in the day, it was uh, trading much higher than these levels. If you look at the company, they are going to be making a rare uh, fuse, uh, fuselage for uh, Deutsche aircraft, is what the company has said. Remember that uh, the company had uh, the stock actually seen a drop of about eight percent or so uh, in uh, yesterday's trading session but today it's trading higher it has uh, a new partnership in bag and on back of that it's uh, trading higher by four uh, percent remember Shristi, that this particular company makes a lot of parts for a lot of global aircraft uh, companies 
Okay, so that's why this uh, stock is in focus. We have our eyes on this one. But uh, another stock which is seeing good gains, almost a 4% gain coming in on this counter, that is OFSS. And Ashish, what's the take coming in? This particular stock is not very far from its 52-week high levels, which is around um, 8600 or so. Are you targeting those levels as well? Uh, yes, if you look at uh, OFSS again, uh, now performer, we can clearly see the stock found a very strong support around 8,000 levels, bounce back sharply from there. It's forming a bullish engulfing pattern in today's session and along with volumes. So the volumes are also picking up and it looks like uh, going towards to 8,800 levels. So I am optimistic the stock will cross the 52 week high as well and move towards the level of 8,800 on the upside. And on the downside, the support is at uh, 8,000, which is uh, near today's low. All right, that is Oracle Financials for you. Snehi, coming to you, let's talk about RVNL and this particular counter. Uh, no points for guessing, it's in use on back of some order win. Absolutely, Cheryl. That's spot on. Uh, the stock is in focus on the back of order wins. But our first, let's take a look at the stock move for the day, right? Because ten and a half percent uptick coming in right now, only on the rise and at the uh, day's highest trading point. Now, let's understand why this is happening. The company's joint venture with Salasar Techno has received a letter of award from Madhya Pradesh Power Transmission Company from Jabalpur, and this is for the construction of the 132 kV as well as the 220 kV transmission lines and associated feeder bays um, on the total turnkey basis in eastern Madhya Pradesh. Now, it is a general contract and the award uh, order shall be uh, completed within a period of 18 months. The total cost of the project is set to be roughly 174 crore rupees. And what's key to remember is that RVNL has a 51% stake in this JV, while Salasar Techno Engineering owns the remaining 49% stake in the venture. Now, uh, this was one order, but that's not all for RVNL because it has also bagged another order of 106.3 crore rupees from the MP Pashchim Shetra Vidyut Vitran company yesterday during market hours and the order is uh, set to be executed in the next 24 months as well. So on the back of both of these back-to-back -back order wins, the stock is doing pretty well for itself up 10.5% as we speak. Okay, so RVN run, running fast in today's trading session and another stock with stellar gains is Indian Hume Pipes. Ashesha, tell us why is that so? Well, yes, this counter is also in focus on the back of an order win, not a counter that we usually talk about. It's a 1500 crore market cap company, but look at the moves that we're seeing. Nearly 11.5% higher on the stock and this is uh, because the company informed the exchanges that a joint venture in which company has about 20% stake has received an order relating to water supply projects and sewerage projects under Amrut 2.0. The total order contract for the joint venture stands at about 1138 crores and because the company holds about 20% stake in the joint venture, the contract value for the company stands at about 228 crores. On account of this order win that has come through for the joint venture, the stock is in focus nearly 11.5% 11 11 higher in trade. All right, that is Indian Hume Pipe that is trading higher by about 11% in trade today. But there are more stocks to discuss, but we'll do that after the short break on this edition of Market Patapar. Welcome back. You're watching Market for Tuffert on ET Now. And let's continue with the stocks that are moving in trade. Zydus Life Sciences, this particular counter is in focus. Uh, at point, one point in time, it was trading flat, but then uh, the stock actually saw a good uptick of as much as about 3% or so. Now it's trading higher by about 2%. On It's actually on track for the best day in actually a month. And the reason being for that is that the US FDA has actually approved uh, the ALS treatment. One is uh, Edra Vaughan uh, injection and a mental disorder treatment, which is a uh, chlorpromazine uh, hydrochloride. Uh, I'm sorry for the spelling, uh, or rather the pronunciations, given the fact uh, they are pretty tongue twisters. Uh, so uh, that's one uh, that has been uh, approved in an injection form. The stock, as you can see, it saw a biggest intraday gain since February 12th, and that's the day when it had actually hit a record high level because of uh, good Q3 earnings. But post uh, this approval, you saw the stock move up 3% uptick, Zydus Life in focus. So this particular drug is definitely giving a boost to Zydus Life. But on the technical front, let's have the check as well. And Ashish, um, very close to that 1000 rupees odd mark. Uh, what are the next levels for Zydus Life? See, if you look at Zydus Life, I think it's in a secular uptrend. And we can clearly see from medium to short term also, the trend has continued to be on the 
positive side uh, the stock is picking up volume with it uh, with the rise which is uh, again a, a healthy sign and uh, overall we can expect the stock to reach towards the level of 1050 and uh, any kind of a dip can be used as a buying opportunity as long as on the downside the stock is managing to sustain about 940 levels All right, uh, that's the take coming in on Zyder Live. We're moving on, a large cap that is seen to be buzzing today, and that is LNT Cheryl. And that's after the CLSA's note today, because LNT sounds very bullish on the order book of uh, CLSA sounds very bullish on the order book of LNT, where they maintain their buy rating on this particular counter with a target price of 4,260 rupees. Um, Still uh, more than 10% upside from the current market price. Uh, CLSA says that LNT is its number one customer guide for CAPEX hike and non-fossil CAPEX. LNT's hydrocarbon uh, segment is well stocked up and uh, they are seeing uh, the outlook improving for LNT as of now. They believe that the margins could improve in the, in the upcoming quarters as well as in Q4. We can see some improvement over there and the lower legacy orders are there in the backlogs and that could also give a push to LNT and that's why we are seeing that the rebound in the markets and LNT seem to be leading the rebound 2% higher for this particular counter. Alright, looks like Ashish is uh, following the trend or markets are following Ashish's trend because Ashish also has LNT uh, on his radar and uh, Ashish, uh, lots more uh, upside left for LNT because CLAC is definitely bullish. I think everyone's bullish on LNT and that uh, uh, the tagline now that with LNT follows if you're bullish on India growth story, you have to be bullish on LNT, isn't it? Absolutely, and uh, it's a coincidence that the stocks that I have also picked up is uh, coinciding with some kind of a news, and that's what the chart is already representing and discounting it. And we can clearly see LNT is forming a very classic uh, a rounding bottom or a cup and handle kind of a pattern. And uh, with every up move, it is the volumes are increasing. If you look at today's volume, it is much more than the past 20 days of average volume also, and that's a very healthy sign. Uh, I think the stock has uh, a lot of potential, and uh, we got the dip which is an opportunity to buy again and we can expect a target of around 3850 on LNT. On the downside, one can maintain a stop loss of around uh, 3500 levels. Alright, moving on and let's go to Ashesha for the next counter. And Ashesha, tell us what's happening with Kalpa through projects. Yes, order win is why the stock is in focus. The uh, company has won orders worth about 2450 crores. The company in an exchange filing informed the exchanges that the company along with its subsidiaries uh, and uh, joint ventures and international subsidiaries has won new orders worth about 2,445 crores, out of which of orders worth about 2,366 crores are in the transmission and distribution or the T&D segment of the business and the balance orders of 79 crores are in the building and refactory segment of the business. We also have some management commentary that has come in on the back of order wins where the company said that they are delighted with the order wins, particularly in the domestic T&D business. They continue to remain optimistic with respect to the order book in this segment um, and these orders will significantly strengthen their domestic T&D order book and provide good visibility for future growth. So very positive commentary that has come in and on the back of these orders worth about 2450 crores we have stocked. We saw that sharp uptick that come in in the middle of the day now 4.5% higher as we speak. Alright, 4.5% uh, half higher coming in for Kalpitru Power on that particular uh, auto win. But uh, on the charts, uh, Ashish, how is Kalpitru Power looking to you? Because it's had a fairly good run and most of them also you could uh, attribute to a lot of positive news flow also that's been coming in or flowing in for most of these interrelated names. Uh, what's your take coming in on Kalpitru projects now? Uh, where do you see the charts headed? If you look at Kalpat projects, uh, yesterday's sell off uh, the stock found very important support at 960 from where it has bounced back even previously. So that's a very important price action support area of 960 levels. And we can clearly see from the momentum indicators there is no divergence, so which means the upside speed is still intact. And I think over here, uh, after some consolidation, the stock can again head on the upside towards 1150 levels as well. So the overall trend for Kalpatru projects is positive. We can expect 1150 as the target on the upside. And on the downside, one can maintain a stop loss of around 920 levels. All right, so that's the take coming in all Kalpatru projects. But on that note, we slip into a break on this edition of Market Fatafa. Lots more to discuss on the other side. Don't go anywhere. If you like this video then like share and subscribe to ET now